thought I'd just give you a quick tour around the tent because we seem to have got to camp early this evening. You can see on the back that's the official spot for our camping tea towel and down in front here we have what's officially termed the wet bag. The wet bag contains everything for uh, washing, um, washing up liquid, toothpaste, uh, clothes washing liquid, all shampoo, those, shampoo. shampoo, those types of things. Next to it we have uh, the kitchen, the green bag is the kitchen and in there we have the stove and all the pans and then we have the food bag. So this food bag that has all the dried food and bits and pieces. Over here in the shade we have uh, what's officially called the fridge. So the fridge is a little chili bin which contains obviously all our cool food and next to it you can see tonight's tea ready to be cooked. So back to the tent. Inside my end of the tent we generally have uh, the two trailers with their wheels taken off stacked on top of each other and then that's uh, my uh, north face bag with all my clothes and bits and pieces in. Then we have my Brompton sat next to it and generally in that little gap down there that's where the bags, uh, the food bag, the kitchen and the wet bag go overnight and then we have my front bag there for easy access. In my front bag, what I carry around in this. Around at the side, you'll see I have my water bottle in there. If you open it up, there I keep the rain cover, just over there. And inside, I have my, my handbag just here. I have my uh, rain jacket, so that's my handbag. Whoops. You can see we also, uh, we also keep the map in there, obviously. We have uh, my rain jacket, it goes in there as well. In the back, I keep my e-reader in case I need to sit and wait for any time, usually outside supermarkets where Mark goes in to buy the food and the extra maps we'll need as we go along. And inside the zipper flap here, this is where I keep uh, my leggets. These are the little uh, uh, waterproof leg protectors. They go over my shoes and they cover my legs so in heavy rain um, I'm pretty waterproof all the way down and they just come out when it's really pouring with rain. So in the back pocket, so on the right hand side, I have um, a little pack. This um, opens up to make a waterproof pack and folds really small so very very handy indeed. I have my head torch which is uh, we've used a lot obviously as we're cooking we're at a campsite and it's darker now. I also have my, um, my freshette, um, an amazing device. Uh, it uh, basically means that uh, a lady can stand up and wee like a man, which is it's just been invaluable. When you need it, you need it. In here we also have um, a front light and a back light which I don't put on all the time, but again, when we need them, they're there to put on. And this is uh, the strap that goes on my trailer. So if I want to carry it without the wheels, I can just simply attach that. In the other side, I have uh, a scarf, which is also a sarong, which is also anything you like. It's very, very handy. And then also in here, I have my rain skirt. So that's my rain skirt that uh, I put over uh, when it's really coming down with rain. And a little end pocket here. I have a pen. I have my earphones, which I use for editing videos. And also we have, I have in here, uh, a couple of padlocks that I use for locking up my bags um, if I need to leave them for any reason. And also I have a, a scrunchy hair tie uh, so that I can uh, weigh my skirt down with a with a penny if I need to in very high winds. Inside the tent I have my uh, my evening wear cube just there which has my my nightwear and the bits and pieces I put on in the evening. My hat generally just sits in there and in there my e-reader and my earrings go 
um, overnight. So you can see in here I have everything set up for the night time. I have my X-Ped mat underneath, all blown up and very comfortable. And on top I have my sleeping bag. And inside that I have a silk uh, liner and my uh, pillow, which has a, a silk pillowcase on, which of course I, I made myself, which I mentioned in an earlier post. That's where uh, Mark usually has his stuff. Um, and I'll go around the other side to show you what's on his end. This is the husband's end, and as you can see, it's usually pretty messy. This is quite tidy, actually. Uh, that uh, is his cup, which seems to have escaped. Um, so in here, he has his uh, bag with all his bits and pieces, and also his front bag. And then on that side, that's where he has his X-Ped mat, his sleeping bag, silk liner, and again, a pillow with silk pillowcase. Under the end of the tent, which you can probably just see here, uh, there's uh, the gas bottle we're using at the, at the moment, which is nearly finished, and a new gas bottle. And then that's my cup. Uh, Mark usually goes down here as well, but um, it seems to be at the other end for some reason. So here's the contents of the kitchen in more detail. Uh, we have a two pan set there with a lid. We have a little tiny dustpan and brush, which we found important for sweeping out the the tent now and again because it gets full of bits of stick and leaves and feathers. We have two plates, then we have the little kettle. The kettle has the stove in it and it has a handy little uh, keep warm cover which also protects the inside of the pans. And you can see inside this bag we have, that's our little stove. And then we have our utensils. So this is a little case that I made and it still contains, we have the washing line here. This is the fire lighter. This is the aluminium wind protector uh, for the stove. We have an opal nail knife. This is the lid for the little kettle. And then we have our cutlery here. We have a miniature wooden spoon and also a fish slice in there as well. And of course we have a chopping board, very thin, uh, picked it up in a $2 shop um, in Auckland and still going strong. The other items we've had with us which have proved their weight in gold, honestly they've been fabulous, are our Helinox chairs. They're very very comfortable, really lightweight and they're the first things we get out in the morning and the first thing we get out when we get to camp. Um, they're just invaluable. We can pop them out when we have a little picnic on the side of the road. They really are awesome. The, the other things that I think are absolutely brilliant are the X-Ped mats. This is the large one that Mark's got. Um, I've got a much smaller one, but they have absolutely transformed camping for us. It's, uh, they're incredibly comfortable, easy to blow up. You have to have the special inflator bag. Um, Mark's originally was designed with a hand pump in it. You can see the little hand impressions where you're supposed to use the hand pump. He did this for the first few weeks and uh, just so envied me with the bag that I blow up mine up with. He managed to get an adapter and a bag to blow his up as well. Brilliant. These are our travel towels which we have taken with us. They have been successful in sorts. They dry really quickly but they also um, now smell quite badly and we can't really get the smell out. We keep washing them so brilliant for lightness and uh, easy drying but they do tend to get a smell so you probably for a long trip like ours we need to replace them as we go along. Mm -hmm. 